Oh my. Hello everyone. My name is Carol. If you are new here, if it's your first time seeing this video, you are welcome. And may God bless you tremendously. Wow, I don't remember when the last time I did a video. I don't remember the last time God had me come here and release a video. I think it's been months and months. And I have so many things to fill you guys in. So much has been happening in my life for a couple, for a couple of like months. God has been dealing with me on a very personal, very strong level in my life but there is an appointed time for everything so right now i'm just going to release a message that god has me do then i will fill you guys in as to all the amazing things that god has been doing in my life um just to give you a little background i have been going through a lot of warfare i have been going through um a lot of trials but god recently gave me a scripture just yesterday um which is james i think it's james 2 james 1 verse 2 where it says count it all joy um and the word for today that god gave me yesterday is enjoy the fruits of your labor the holy spirit has been talking to me about fruits of your labor fruits of your labor and really there is a scripture in psalm 128 um that if you have your bibles please take your bibles i have learned in this time of warfare that the word is so important i know that not a lot of people um take warfare seriously because they think i'll just get over it no you need the word of god in hebrews uh, 4 16 it says that the word of god is powerful it's living it's sharper than any two-edged sword dividing joint and marrow soul and spirit and it is a discerner of thoughts and hearts and things so you need the word of god to gain victory over the warfare that you're going through over what god has promised you in your life so the word that god gave me for this video specifically is in psalm 128 it says blessed it says blessed is everyone who fears the lord who walks in his ways when you eat the labor of your hands you shall be happy and it shall be well with you okay that's the word that god has for me today enjoy the fruits of your dead labor if you are saved and you know that jesus christ is your lord and savior he died for you on the cross of calvary and that you are under his blood covenant which is a new covenant you will know that when you endure when you have done everything God has asked you to do. When you have gone through the warfare. Because he says that. Be of good cheer. Because I've overcome the world. You will have the victory. If you abide by God's word. To do his commands. Just like he said to the children of Israel. That you will possess the land. If you follow my statues. If you do my word. If you follow my commandments. So if you have done everything that God has told you to do, you have fasted, you have prayed, you have done all the instructions that he has told you to do, even though they never make sense. Nothing that God will tell you will ever make sense, let me tell you. If God has promised you that he will move you, that he will get you a car, and you know that you don't work, you know that your credit score is bad, you know that you have zero in your bank account, 
when God says to you, listen, I'm going to move you into this place. I'm going to give you a car. In faith, believe in what God is telling you to do. Don't look at things that are here on the earth. Don't look and perceive things carnally. Walk in the spirit. Once you've done all of those things, you can now enjoy the fruits of your labor. I'm not talking about you going to a nine to five every day. I'm talking about spiritual. Everything is spiritual, ladies and gentlemen. Everything is spiritual. What you see here is nothing compared to the spiritual realm where everything initiates before it comes to pass here on this earth. That's why when you dream and then it happens on this earth, you're like, I dreamt about this. That's because that's where it originates from. That is why the Bible emphasizes that we walk in the spirit, not according to the flesh. In the spirit, not, I think that is in the book of Romans, I think I'm not mistaken. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. God is our true vine. He's our vine dresser. We are his branch. And with him, we are able to bear fruit. And he prunes us. Without him, we cannot bear fruit. So without his word, without God's instructions and commands, without having an intimate relationship with him, we cannot bear fruit. We cannot bear fruit of our own. So we, if you know that you have done all that God has asked you to do, it's time for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. And I'm not, I'm not, this message is not for every single person. You know that this time around, it is your turn, it's your time, it's your season. I had a vision once, I'm going to share with you. The Holy Spirit just reminded me of. I had a vision last year, 2020, 2023 in July. I had this vision where I was flat on my face and I was in front of the throne of God. And I did not see God's face, by the way. I was just flat on my face. I knew that I was in the presence of God. I couldn't move. Like when you get out of the presence of God, you're just in complete surrender. I couldn't move. I was lying flat on my face on the floor. And those of you who've had these experiences by the grace of God, you can attest to this. And God showed me something. He showed me something. He said to me, when he speaks, his words flow out of his mouth, go through the river of life. There's a river that proceeds out of God's throne. The words went from his mouth through the river, flowed, and were planted like a seed on the ground. And that was now growing like like a pro when you when you put a seed on the ground and you water it every day it starts to grow that's god's word and it starts to bear fruit that's what i saw and i and i saw the lord say to me those are the when i speak words into you they are life they're like a seed they plant it and it grows and when i got out of the vision there was a scripture in revelations and in uh, Isaiah 55. And I'll put them up. I'll put all the scriptures on the screen for you guys to see. When God speaks upon your life and he tells you, this is what I'm going to do for you. This and this and this and this and this. He doesn't tell you everything because there are certain things you have to go through to get that. When God speaks upon your life. It's so important that you be obedient to what he says and you be in faith. Otherwise, his words will not bear fruit in your life. Come on. If God has spoken a word upon your life, 
And he will do it more than once. He'll come and talk, tell me, oh, this, I'm going to do this. I'm going to move you. I'm going to give you this property. And you think it's going to happen the next day? No. And like a year or two goes by, and then he comes back and he tells you the same thing. He's watering your plants. He's watering it. And it's growing. And it's growing until the time comes where it is now matured enough to bear fruit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Some of you right now are in that stage of your life where God has been watering you. He's been teaching you His Word. You've been fasting. You've been praying. You've been obedient. You've been going through the fire. You've been going through uh, the wilderness. Everything. And you went through it with Him. And you did not faint. It is now time for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. And you can only enjoy it with God, through God. It's not a physical thing. It's not a physical thing. Now you can enjoy the fruits of your labor because what God has planted in you has now, it's now bearing fruit. Fruit that you can take and enjoy. So that is the message that I have for you guys today. I pray that you guys are blessed. I love you all. I promise I will be back by the grace of God to share my testimony of all the things that God has been doing in my life for the past couple of months and all the warfare and all other things that I want to share that are so important about life and walking with God in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bless you all. And I pray that you guys are getting closer and building a strong relationship with God because it is needed at this time. It is so important. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray for you all. Amen.